In this video, we will focus on step fills and how to edit step fills. Step fills are found in many different types of designs as these fills are appropriate for a wide range of sizes and shapes of objects. A step fill consists of rows of stitches that go back and forth across a shape. Step fills can be uniform and flat, or they can be patterned. The pattern of needle penetrations in the object affects the look of the fill. By selecting an object and then opening Object Properties, you can edit the step fill. There are 30 different types of stitches. Each will look slightly different. Notice that by selecting another type of fill, the preview will update. The change does not occur to the selected object until you press Apply or OK. If you select Apply, the dialog box will remain open, while OK will close the dialog box. You will see that some of the step fills look smooth, some look rough, and some have patterns. To stitch out a sampler of the different types of step fill patterns, select Open, Navigate to the Embroidery Designs, select Bernina 9 Embroidery, and go to the Reference Files. There's a Step Fill folder with three different files that lets you stitch out a sampler of all the different step fills. These reference files are an easy way to see exactly what is included within the software and how the step fills are going to look. Notice in Object Properties, you can change stitch settings of step fills. You can change the stitch spacing as well as the stitch length. Stitch spacing is the distance between two rows of stitches that stitch in the same direction. This affects the density of the design. When your cursor is in the value box, the two blue arrows in the diagram to the right show you what this measurement involves. The stitch length is the distance between needle penetrations. If you are using a heavier thread, you may want to increase the stitch spacing, which will lower the density and allow more room for the heavier thread. Changing the value and applying the change will lighten the density. You may also change the stitch length if you are using either a heavier or thinner thread than 40 weight thread. Again, make your change and click OK.